Welcome to Lab 6, Part 1, where we will program the newton rathbun method to solve a system of nonlinear equations. Here you can see the formula we will be using. To get started, we must first import our libraries. First, let's import numpy as np. Then we will import simpy as sp. And finally, we will import pandas as pd. First, we must define a function to return delta x where delta x is equal to the inverse of negative k times by f. Let's go ahead and call this function nr1iteration with the inputs of the f vector and x, which is a list of our symbols, and x0, which is a list of our initial guesses. Next, we will set a constant n equal to the length of f, which we will use later. Next, we will declare a dictionary called rule table equal to curly brackets, which will map each of our symbols in x to its corresponding initial guess in x0. So to do this, we will set the key xi colon, which is mapped to x0 at i. And we will loop through all of our symbols using 4i in range n. So our rule table will look something like this. Say we have the symbols x, y, and z with initial guesses of 1, 2, and 3. Here you can see each of the symbols will be mapped to a number. Moving on, we must find our matrix K, which we will call KK equal to. Since we're using symbols, K must be a SymPy matrix. And to make a two-dimensional matrix, we need two list comprehensions. The elements of the inner list is f at i dot diff of x at j, which is the first derivative of f at i with respect to x at j. And then our first for loop, which is for j in range n, and our second for loop is for i in range n. And this will give us our n by n matrix. Now that we have k, we can refer back to our formula which states that delta x is equal to negative inverse of k times by f. So we can set delta x dx equal to kk dot i and v, which is the inverse, dot dot, then simpy dot matrix of f. Finally, we must multiply dx by negative 1 and substitute our rule table. And so we will return this as a list comprehension we will loop through each of the elements in dx, and for each of the elements i, we will multiply by negative 1, and then substitute our rules table using the subs function. Finally, we will transform our list into a numpy array with the type numpy.float. Now that we have our function for delta x, we will declare our main function and call it nr. Here we will need the inputs f, a list of all of our equations, x a list of our symbols, x not a list of our initial guesses, and max the maximum number of iterations, and eps our stopping error. And colon. First, we will declare our two tables, which is our error table, er table, initialize that one, and our x table, which must be a numpy array for us to do numpy operations, and then initialize that x not. And then i will be equal to 0. And here we will declare a while loop, which will keep looping while er table at i is greater than eps and i is less than or equal to n max. The first step is to get our delta x from our first function, which is nr1 iteration, and pass in the values f, x, and x table at i. Now looking at the second part of our formula, we have to set x at i plus 1 equal to xi plus delta x. And we will set x at i plus 1 equal to new x, which is equal to x table at i plus the delta x. Then we must append new x to x table, but since x table is a numpy array, we must use vstack x table equal to numpy dot v stack two sets of round brackets x table again comma new x now we must calculate our error which is er equal to numpy dot lin dot norm 
of x table at i plus 1 minus x table at i divided by numpy dot lin out dot norm of x table at i plus 1. Then we must append our er to our er table using numpy dot v stack two round brackets er table comma er. Finally increment i by 1. And now we will build our table t equal to pandas data frame and then a list comprehension where the first column is i plus 1. The second column is x1 which is x table at i0. The third column is x2 which is x table at i1. If we have more variables we will need an x table at i2 and so on. But in this case, we only have two variables. And then our next column will be x table at i plus 1 and 0. Then our x table at i plus 1 at 1. And finally, our error table at i plus 1, another square bracket, and 0. And our for loop will be 4i in range of the length of er table minus 1. And then our column headers will be equal to iteration x1 underscore n x2 underscore n if we had an x3 we would also need an x3 underscore n but in this case we only have x2 our next header will be x1 underscore out and then x2 underscore out and then er finally go ahead and display t and here we have the full code for newton rathbun method Moving on, we will solve the following set of nonlinear equations using our function. The first step is to declare x1 and x2 equal to simpy dot symbols x1 space x2. Then we will declare all of our equations inside our f list. Our first equation is x1 squared plus x1 times x2 minus 10, comma. Our second equation is x2 plus 3 times x1 times x2 squared minus 57. Then our x list will be a list of x1 and x2. Our x0 is our initial guesses, which is 1.5 and 3.5. Finally, we can call our function nr, passing f, x, and x0. 50 for a maximum number of iterations, 0 0.40, 1 for a stopping error. We will also compare our results with simpy's end solve function, where we will pass in our f, x, and x0 list. Let's go ahead and run this. Here you can see we get 2 for x1 and 3 for x2, which is what we also got from end solve. 